close to two and a half decades of operation, marked by multiple formidable challenges, including government changes, economic crisis, natural calamities, and a destructive health pandemic. Megawide, your company still stands strong. At the onset, we knew that things would not always work out as planned. Still, we saw opportunities amid difficulties, which helped develop our resiliency to thrive under different cycles. Now, we can ascertain that survival, together with the pursuit of a first world Philippines, takes much greater flexibility and tenacity. Although the last two years proved to be very difficult, with a prolonged pandemic, a nuisance legal case, and a devastating typhoon, we remain agile and relentless in completing our mission. With a managed situation and a more relaxed operating environment, the Philippine economy grew 5.7% in 2021 and the second fastest in the region. Construction was among the major drivers, rising 10% year on year. Against this backdrop, Megawide recorded 15.6 billion pesos revenues, 21% higher than the previous year. EBITDA likewise improved to 2.84 billion pesos. We took advantage of this momentum as our construction segment posted 32% higher revenues to 14.3 billion pesos, courtesy of a healthy and diverse order book at 60 billion pesos. Local aviation, on the other hand, remained severely affected. Tourism and airport operations were still hampered by limited travel, a result of the country having one of the longest and most stringent lockdowns in the world. Our airport business through the Mactan Cebu International Airport, or MCIA, recorded a passenger volume of only 1.33 million from around 12.7 million pre-pandemic and delivered combined revenues of 599 million pesos from operations and merchandising. Land travel, meanwhile, proved to be vital during the health crisis. Our land port business through the Baranyake Integrated Terminal Exchange, or PITX, saw a continued growth in passengers with East land travel controls. As of December 2021, total passenger volume reached 80,000 daily on average, with a peak of 125,000 during the holiday rush, from a 65,000 average pre-COVID. However, increasing office vacancy rates offset the performance, resulting in revenues of 587 million pesos. The year was almost over when Typhoon Odette ravaged Cebu province. MCIA Terminal 1 was damaged while construction in Cebu sites stalled as debris blocked major roads and the supply chain. Our development of the carbon public market paused, but vendors in our undamaged facilities resumed selling immediately after the typhoon. Carbon became an oasis of food and other essentials when supermarkets were running out of stocks. Meanwhile, GMCAC immediately began restoring partial operations in Terminal 1 as it served a shelter for standard travelers. With generators, it was a beacon in the midst of the blackout. So nearby residents also stayed in our airport village to charge their mobile phones and use toilet facilities for free. These challenges drove us towards a stronger economic, environmental, social, and governance agenda. Under economic, we distributed our aggregate value equitably among our stakeholders to repay their confidence and seek their continued support. For environment, we expanded and managed our footprint across all operations. Our goal is a net zero carbon future 
focusing on resource management and conservation. Through Megawhite Foundation, we also provided financial and educational assistance to host communities, delivered goods, and initiated cleanup drives. We also strengthened our resistance against the pandemic through constant testing and strict health protocols, which went hand in hand with digitalization and process improvements. Finally, we advocated the highest level of governance across the organization, resulting in a score of 102.2 points from 98.5 the previous year in our Asian Corporate Governance Scorecard. We are aware, however, that strengthening our corporate resistance must be complemented by a proactive business strategy to seize opportunities in the next normal. With several factors affecting 2021 performance, we identified cycle resilient segments aligned with our long-term vision. Our pivot to infrastructure continued with progress in the Malolos Clark Railway Project and the Aglipay Sewage Treatment Plant. We believe that infrastructure development is sustainable amid different cycles and will remain a priority under the new administration. From less than 5% pre-pandemic, infrastructure share in our order book has grown to 17% as of 2021. We intend to increase this further as we book more big ticket items, such as Metro Manila subway project and hopefully other government rail packages. We are also optimistic with the airport's recovery as revenge travel gains momentum. In the fourth quarter of 2021, monthly passenger volume averaged 191,000 compared with 84,000 in the first nine months, largely from domestic traffic. International numbers are expected to be boosted by European and Middle Eastern tourists as we welcome Turkish Airlines and the return of Emirates, which will augment our traditional Asian tourist base. For the land port, we are convinced that PITX model is scalable to improve inter- and intra-island connectivity in our country. We are actively exploring multiple locations with a long-term goal of developing a hub-and-spoke model with PITX at the center. We are also developing P2P routes as far as Visayas and Mindanao regions to serve more commuters in the southern part of the Philippines. The ongoing revitalization of Cebu's historic carbon district is also very exciting. Carbon is a staple source of food and other products to the province, aside from being a 100-year-old heritage site. However, years of rapid expansion have led to numerous issues in sanitation, poor facilities, and criminality. We believe that proper infrastructure and administrative improvements can develop the district into a true symbol of Cebu heritage and a vital component in its ecosystem. Moving forward, we hope to bring Megawai's brand of urban renewal to other areas as we explore other Cebu City public markets. During the last 12 months, our collective resolve as a company was challenged in unprecedented way and our purpose as an organization was questioned. Despite our losses this year, we stayed true to our values, integrity, malasakit, and community kept us going that made us relentless in pursuit of our vision for inclusive development. The journey has not been easy and we thank you for keeping us going through 2021 and another quarter of a century of engineering a first world Philippines.